Welcome back, everybody. My name is Nicholas Bograff Gansel, and I am Creatively Bankrupt. So today, we're diving into Season 1, Episode 15 of Avatar, The Last Airbender, titled Beto of the Water Tribe. Bado? Beto? I think it's Beto. Beto of the Water Tribe. I'm assuming they meet Beto, and he's from the Water Tribe. I suppose it could be a she. I don't know. Beto sounds like a guy's name. Although, now that I think about it, when I hear Beto, I immediately think Balto, because it's spelled the same way, but missing the L, so... And it doesn't help that I just watched Tuca and Birdie with anthropomorphized dogs, and it's so, like... In my head, I'm picturing them meeting a waterbender who's a husky. I don't think that's what the episode's about. All that to say, I don't know if they meet this guy on the road or if they suddenly make it to the North Pole. There are only like six episodes left in the season, so they could make it to the North Pole at any time now. I don't think they make it to the North Pole, because if they did, why would it just be about one dude from the Water Tribe? I think they meet another member of the Water Tribe on the road. That is my theory. Um, I'm hoping Zuko's in this episode, because he wasn't in the last episode, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, beyond that, I really don't have a lot of predictions. Last episode, the only real thing that changed in the status quo last episode is now uh, Aang's unrequited feelings for Katara are possibly slightly less unrequited. Like, they're not, they're not requited yet. But it's an inkling in her mind. So I don't know if that's going to be relevant to this episode. That seems like the kind of thing they might let sit for a few episodes before they really dig into it. But then again, for all I know, this episode's going to open and the first thing that happens is she'll be like, hmm, Aang, I must think about this. I must ponder on this whole fortune teller situation. I don't know. Um, I'm speculating. So, so yeah, I actually, I, I have really no serious predictions for this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Oh, and as always, if you're watching my videos without watching the original content first, you're doing the content a disservice and you're doing yourself a disservice. If you really do want your first experience of Avatar to involve me, then head over to my Patreon. For just $1, you can get access to my uncut reactions that you can play alongside the original content. Let's dive in. A hundred years passed and my brother and I discovered the new Avatar. Who's actually the old Aang. Avatar. But, but I, I believe Aang, Aang can, can save, save the, the world. world. He can, guys. He absolutely can. Did someone lose something? No, we found something. Which means someone else did lose something. Water Tribe warriors ambushed a group of firebenders. The warriors drove them down this hill. Damn, you're good. Or you're making this shit up. The trail ends here. Wait, look! It's one of our boats! <laughs> you noticed all that shit in the woods but didn't see the boat? Dad was here. Yay! I'm Arrow. Look out! Stay back! Oh my God! We're after a stowaway. Hello. Hey, stop that! By then he'll be in jail, and I'll have my money. Who is? But how did you find this him on my ship, woman? My sheer shoe can smell a rat a continent away. Well, I'm impressed. And apparently that's called a sheer shoe. Is that a possible love interest for Zuko? Because Uncle Ira already seems to approve. You're not old enough to go to war, Sokka. You know that. I'm strong. I'm brave. His little kid fight. voice. Please, Dad. Sokka? Bato? Who the what now? Bato. Bato. I was wrong. Sokka. Katara. I would not have considered that pronunciation. I should have. Especially since I compared it to the word Balto. Bato. Damn. The sisters craft ointments and perfumes. Maybe we could dump some on Appa because he stinks so much. Am I right? <laughs> you have your father's wit. Oh, that tells us a lot about his father. Nothing's cozier than dead animal skins. <laughs> Mama! Ugh. Is it true you and Dad lassoed an Arctic hippo? It was your father's idea. He just dragged me along. Well, the hippo did the dragon. Oh my god! Something Momo won't eat? What's that story? It's a long one, eh? Some other time. 
Oh. Holy shit. That dude looks like he belongs in Street Fighter. Step aside, Phil. He means no offense. I'm <laughs> certain you bathe regularly. I need to talk to you. Your beast trashed my ship. You have to pay me back. Oh, I'd love to help you out, but I'm a little short on money. Drinks on me! <laughs> oh! I like her already. I need you to find someone. Ah. What happened? Your girlfriend run off on you? It's not the girl I'm after. It's the bald monk she's traveling with. Whatever you say. <clears throat> I don't like the design of its nose. Its nose looks like hands that are doing this. And that unnerves me. You can come with me and see your father again. That would be so incredible. Katara. I do really miss him. Oh. But we can't. We have yeah. to take Aang to the North Pole first. We don't have time for a long detour. Oh, Aang, you walked out right before the best part. I can't believe they would leave me. Damn. I'm looking for Bato of the Water Tribe. Make sure he gets this. Oh, are you gonna do something childish, Aang? It's the map to Sokka and Katara's dad. Okay, he didn't throw it away. So we can still remedy that mistake later. Sure could go for some delicious sea prunes. Mmm. <laughs> Out for a bit of fresh air, are we? Oh, is this the medicine woman? Me, Yuki. Did you get in trouble with the Fire Nation again? <laughs> I need to know the story about the first time that happened. Is this the boat he took you ice dodging in? <laughs> oh, shit. Care to hear your fortune, handsome? At my age, there's really only one big surprise left. And I'd just as soon leave it a mystery. Oh, that's amazing! Your position is about trust. I know that. Why wouldn't I know that? I'm the Avatar. I know about trust. <laughs> uh, Katara, give him room! Uh, That was lucky. Great job! Oh shit. There's no way through! Now! This might be considered cheating. Just saying. And for Aang, the mark of the trusted. <coughs> you are now an honorary member of the Water Tribe. I can't. A messenger gave this to me for Bato. You had it the whole time? Well, you can go to the North Pole on your own. I'm going to find Dad. I'm with you, Sokka. Damn. Sometimes 13-year-olds act like 13-year-olds. Or 12. I always fuck that up. I'm an idiot, Momo. Yep. And now they're going to show up. But they have the scent of Katara, not of the Avatar. And a young man with a scar. Zuko. The beast was using the scent of a necklace to follow you. A necklace? <gasps> Katara! Nice. The pieces are falling into place. This is gonna be one epic climax. And we just dove right into it. So this is your girlfriend. No wonder she left. She's way too pretty for you. Where is he? Where's the Avatar? Oh, shit. What are we supposed to do now? It's seeking a different scent. Oh, shit. It's that easy to find the Avatar again. It's like, hey, we're trying this again. in a circle. Nicely done, eh? Yeah! Take that! Angry Appa! Alright, we haven't had a real square off between them in a while. Oh shit! Oh no. Oh no. 
Sleepy Hopper. Yeah! Power through! Power through! This is a clusterfuck! I'm starting to get some feeling back. <laughs> Once again, sock is the butt of the joke, and it's hilarious. <laughs> he just stole that shit! Oh, he's gonna water bend from the well! Oh my god! Maybe he's not gonna water pen from the well. This is insane. Yes, he is gonna water pen from the well. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop hurting up. Fuck him up, Appa! Fuck him up! Appa. Smelling salts! That thing sees with its nose. Oh, does it not have eyes? I totally missed that. Is it water based? It's water based! Yeah, it really doesn't have eyes. Oh! Good catch. Uncle, I didn't see you get hit with the tongue. I wish I could give you a little piece of home, Katara. Maybe something like this? Hey, <laughs> Nicely done. Zuko asked me to be sure I got it to you. <clears throat> Would you give him a kiss for me when you see him? Sure. Mwah. So I know it was always sarcastic or in jest, but they made so many allusions to a potential Zuko Katara romantic relationship. Like, what the fuck? Right when I thought, oh, here's potentially a love interest for Zuko, so like, maybe I was imagining things. They're like, oh, Katara's your girlfriend. Oh, give Zuko a kiss for me. Like, what the fuck, show? I, I feel like you're just messing with my head now. Cause I like, I don't, I don't necessarily like seriously think that's what's gonna happen. But every time I start to be like, nah, I'm, I'm making this up. It's in my head. There's like another nugget of like, well, don't give up on that idea. I, I don't know what to make of that. Um, I just don't know what to make of that. Overall, I really like this episode. It was a solid episode. I might like it more than episode 13. Just because the characters were together more. Um, but it's close. Because uh, it was a funny episode, but it wasn't quite as laugh out loud funny as uh, Delirious Sokka. That shit still takes the cake for me. And... The action was fantastic, but there wasn't quite as much of it. I don't know. It's it's up there, though. This is, this is definitely, like, top three favorite episodes so far. It, uh... That was fantastic. It was really interesting how... Zuko and, uh, what's-her-name and Uncle Iroh had to visit every location for, like, the last three episodes in this episode. Um... Like, it makes sense. If you're following the sense, you're following the trail. But, yeah, it was it was just crazy to be like, oh, so this is why they haven't crossed paths in, like, three or four episodes, is they had to follow the entire trail. That, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just, that's interesting. I love, I always love Uncle Iroh. But I love in this episode, specifically, his dynamic with, uh, all of the non-regulars 
So this bounty hunter chick shows up, and he's immediately just like, I like her. She seems cool. And, like, when they walk through the bar or tavern or whatever, Itsuko's like, out of my way, filth. And he's like, I'm sure you all bathe regularly. And the little flirtation thing he had going on with the fortune teller, I ship those two. I ship those two hard. I hope the fortune teller comes back as a supporting character just so her and Uncle Iroh can hook up. Like, that was some grade A flirting. When she was like, you know, hey, I'll tell you your future, handsome. And he's like, hey, there's only one big surprise left, and I'd rather find out the old-fashioned way. Like, come on, that was some good shit right there. Yeah, I don't know, this was just a really good episode. Uh, I still think it's kind of cheating to use the bending to uh, to pass the test, but since they said he had already proven himself and already basically passed the test, then uh, I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't like in kid shows when characters more or less cheat and it's like wow how ingenuitive of you you won and you passed the test and we're gonna praise you for this when it's like yeah you did it the fucking easy way that doesn't count so i'm glad they established he had already been more than competent and more than passed with flying colors and then at that point it was like no this is the best way to save the ship not so much this is the best way to pass the test uh we got another insane creature in this one which i'm blanking on the name of but they definitely said, because I repeated it and then immediately forgot it. My sheer shoe can smell a rat a continent away. And apparently that's called a sheer shoe. I did not realize it was blind until right there at the end, but that was clever. This fight between Aang and Zuko has been better than all of the previous fights between Z uh, <laughs> I almost said between Zang and Uko. Between Aang and Zuko. Uh, seriously, this fight was just phenomenal. This fight between the two of them, it was much more personal than previously. Whereas before, it felt a little more, I don't want to say abstract, but generic. Like, he's using firebending moves, you know, the other one's using airbending moves, and it's like, oh, this is what you expect from any firebender or airbender fight. But now it's like, no, Zuko and Aang have a personal history now. And the fighting felt much more character driven and the way that they would the way they would employ dodges as well as attack moves and redirect moves it just i don't know it felt like a much more intimate fight in this episode and part of it was just that sequence over the well where they destroy the wooden part of the well and then keep fighting on top of it like trying to step over the hole and not fall in uh their intertwining footwork as they were trying to gain an advantage over each other, was just phenomenally entertaining. Oh my god, this is the first time I've ever been, like, watching a fight scene and been concerned, because Appa was getting hurt! And you can't hurt Appa! It's not fair! He's a Fluffy, you don't hurt Fluffies. Although apparently, that other Fluffy, the cat of the Medicine Woman, has pissed off firebenders before? I gotta know that story. I want a prequel movie just about the cat getting up to shit and pissing off the Fire Nation. That, that would be a movie worth watching. Just saying. But yeah, Appa's fluffy and people shouldn't hurt the fluffy. It's just not fair. I loved when he came charging in head first and just knocked that reptilian thing the fuck out of the way. That was amazing. Really, there were a lot of moments I loved. God, it's it's a tough call. This might be my favorite one so far. Everyone keeps saying that in season two and three it gets even better. Which, like, okay, I mean, I believe you. I, I'm, I don't think y'all are lying to me. But at the same time, how much better can it really get? Like, it... I think the thing is, once we get to season two, I think we're going to see longer stories. So it's going to be less, you know, kind of story of the week or conflict of the week and much more building a single narrative that runs through many episodes. And that's going to be fucking sick. I can't wait for that. Because already we're starting to see a little bit of a shift towards that with characters who recur, 
plot points from previous episodes that come back up and become relevant again. Yeah, I don't know. It, uh, I really don't know what to expect long term. Because the show's already fantastic. And I, like, I, I just want to be clear. I knew it was going to be fantastic going in. I'm not, like, surprised, like, Wow, a kid show could be fantastic. It's not even really a kid show. But it's still appropriate for kid. Like, I, I'm not surprised. Even with super high expectations, this show is still clearing my expectations. And we're only on episode 15. Like, I know given enough time, a lot of shows can, like, build that rapport with you where you're like, wow, you know, it took a while, but this is really exceeding my expectations. Like, if someone started watching Parks and Recreation now, from episode one, they'd probably have pretty high expectations because of, you know, everyone loves it. But, when you're watching those first couple seasons, you'd be like, mm, this is the show everybody loves? Like, it's okay, I guess, but what? And it takes time to really build the characters and build the world in a way where you're like, okay, I get it now, this is fantastic, this won me over. But we're on episode 15, and it's already like, yeah, I get, I get why people love this show. I'm going to stop here because otherwise I'm just going to probably gush about it for another 20 minutes and I'll probably keep talking until the camera dies. So I'm just going to cut it off here. Come back next week. We'll check out another episode of Avatar. Hopefully it'll be just as great as this one. Uh, if you can't wait that long, check out the link in the description to my Patreon. You can get episodes up to four weeks early there as well as my uncut reactions to episodes. And as always... Please like and subscribe because I'd love to have you all coming back on the regular.